Okay, so we've all been in our mother's basement at least once in our lives, right? I mean, if not still to this day like me. I have crippling depression! So that means we've all played Dungeons and Dragons, you know, at least once. So what do you think of when you think of wizards? You think of spellcasters and people that read from books, so like Gandalf or Dumbledore, or even Stephen Hawking. Yo, you're such a funny guy, Yin Yarn. I cannot believe how mad your jokes are. Ra full ha ha laughing out loud memes. Personally, I like to think of Aghanim from Zelda because he's such a cool wizard. I mean, I guess technically if he was in Rome, he'd be a sorcerer because he shoots lightning, but, you know. Hey. This attack would make a great looking spell bomb, and what I'm trying to say is that Agana would make a great skin in Rome, and please make it because I'll pay $100 for it. I don't care if it's a 32 by 32 sprite, we can work around it. Okay, but anyways. I actually made this video two nights ago. In Rome, none of these things are what a wizard is. You want to know what a wizard is in this game? Well, let me show you. of destruction! Yeah, pretty stupid, right? And look at this. Goodness, that thing barely got the chance to breathe air. How do you not feel bad after doing something like that? Wizard. Wizard. Help me! Ring of Decades is in stock. Now I know what you're thinking. Yin Yarn, why are you such a slob? Well, that's not what we're talking about, so stop thinking that. Instead, let's focus on the fact that there's a plague of wizards in Rome that I can only refer Ring to as an epidemic. And you think that all these players would just be no skill hacks, right? Well, no. That title actually belongs to the night players. These people that start playing Rome for the first time have no idea how good of a life they get with the starting character until they get something like the trickster and then realize how nice it would be to just go back to a somewhat useful character. Mm, if you play nothing but the wizard, I can't really blame you because he's strong in pretty much every situation. Unless of course you're running a tomb and you have the same aim as I Mustard, who for some reason just can't keep his mouth still. Either way, you're pretty set with this class. If you made 10 wizards, you could still very well be set off in this game just because of the amount of damage you do. Oh, now come on! And I know I've said that the warrior does tons of damage in the past, and that's still true, but imagine doing tons of damage still while being at a safe distance at pretty much all times. It's pretty dumb. The game is supposed to be a huge team effort, right? So, I mean, normally I could say something about other classes, like how the knight stuns, so it helps everyone and how the warrior is supposed to buff others, but you already heard what I said about that. But the wizard? There's not a single thing I can think of that he does that's team-based. I mean, okay, what, he kills the boss so fast that you don't have to worry about it anymore? No, this cannot be, 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 be. Normally at this point I would just tell you to run dungeons and get loot, but with this guy? Heck no, just do everything and get loot. I can't think of a single place where he doesn't shine because I mean it's hard to complain when you have pretty much the best of everything except for defense that you don't really need because you're not even in anything's face. Ring of Decades is in stock. So hey, if you want to play a class that's as tasteless as a box of wheat thins and as charming as mud, then go ahead and play the wizard. You won't regret picking him up at all unless you accidentally feel like you're way too strong and then sit on Sathena thinking you're safe. Alright, so on to the Patreon credits. Uh, so with the $10 shoutouts, we have Nice Guy Willis that was nice enough to share his story about himself on Patreon with me. Uh, he's a really nice guy, so a big thanks to him. And for the other $10 donator, we have Scrux, who wrote me a really awesome letter on Discord. Um, he's amazing as well, and I can't thank him enough for his donation either. But yeah, guys, that's it for now, so I'll see you later, my dudes.